So my people we have a nice morning now, you know. You see come up in a few days. I go yesterday, day before the day before the sea come up. And it never so nice. Me even come right here so attempt to do some spear fishing and I come and look at it and I say no, I no, go out there, it not look good. And I turn back. But today about three days. You know, and look at it, you know, flat and nice, man. It look like what here, it look like um, the diver, me spear the big um, yellow tail snap. I just see him look to the water, you know, you know, look coolish. But I know it's not that cool because the place I get hot, even night time, it's half here, be hotness. Mm -hmm. Yes, but this morning, I'm balty as usual. <laughs> Mm. Mm, we are going to see the spot. As you say, we want to do some different spot you know, you know. But at this time, the sea on and off, you know, the sea does stay flat for like one day or two. So, we are get some different spot man. We just go and do it for, for now. So, my people are here with it. Go and watch the video them see me. You know, they might look boring sometimes. We just go dive at the same spot. So you go sometime. We have to work with the sea, we have to work with the weather, you know? We have to go that place so we can go. As I said, we're going out there, see what we can catch, target species, whether that's a honey, good fish, barracuda, jack, red belly, gold tail, drone snappers, all of those, you know? Let's see if we can catch them. So come with us on this one, alright? And enjoy the video, share with your family and friends. Yes. So clean waters, we could see far, I would say. Right here some jack went in this trench. I was searching for them, but could see they came out on my right side. I wasn't expecting them there. Right here I spot a grunt. So I try to sneak my way over on it. Which work well. Spot a nice red belly here. That doctor fish was a nice one, but I was more interested in the red belly. Could see it finally come from under the rock. The same spot, 
a gold tail came out here as well. I was searching for it but it seems like it head back in the rock. The jack spot Hedging myself around to see what was here Here is a nice one This place is never empty I jiffed back down while I was getting that one on my buoy. When I reached back there I saw some small ones swimming around. So I make a next dive. And a next good size one was also there. These are goat fish, one of the fish I love to eat. These fish are slim built though, so they are real cheeky to spear. This was a gold tail. Not the best way to approach them. This one see me coming and make a swim for it. So right here I spot a next nice red belly. It went in the rock, I was lay waiting it. Here it is. A next red belly at this spot and I was diving easy today I wasn't doing anything extra but fish was out I was seeing red bellies and gold teal when I realized where this was I remember that this spot holds a lot of grunt could see them swimming around
this gold tail was also here as well. The red belly didn't came out back though and I didn't get a shot on any one of the grunts. Red belly, a nice one right here feeding. a nice job I just speared. I speared it in a hole. A bigger one was there but it was too big though so I took the small one. And as said red bellies was all over the place and gold tail. I was lay waiting the next one here. Red belly I was waiting on, but this gold tail came instead. A nice one. And whenever you're diving and trying to spear these fish, the best thing to do is get to the bottom and lay and wait. If they see you and swim in any rock, they will come out back. You just have to wait. Here's a next nice red belly. This one is a big one. These fish is always at this area. Back then I was mainly focusing on big fish. I always see them but never make after them. But now I'm taking the time out to spear a few. Give the big fish thing a break. I spot a nice squab here, could see it. When I always do this, whenever I spear the fish, I make sure to go and grab it. Make sure the flapper go through, because sometimes the flapper don't penetrate. This one is a nice squab. I saw a nice lionfish. I don't pass these guys. Most of you guys know how I get to work with these fish already. I use my knife to clip off the venomous spines. I 
Right here I spot a lobster. What I did here is head down and size it up first and make sure it is on good size. It is. It is a good size one. A smaller one was there as well. I make sure that I didn't spare the small one. Even lobsters, I used to see them a lot when I'm hunting big fish, but still never make after them. Here I finally spear one of the goldfish. I said good eating fish. Most people love them. Some people even hox for them individually. Right here I made a dive. I saw a huge red belly. I was lay waiting it. Could see this nice ground swim right on my spear pint. I didn't want to take the shot on the grunt and scare the red belly. So what I did I surface and make a next dive. And I end up spear the red belly. Right here was the third dive I went to retrieve the spear with the red belly on it. If I did Take that shot on the ground, I wouldn't get the chance with this nice red belly. see the size on this one it's a real big one the grunt was also big but this fish is more of a price on the grunt this was balti here you see i was going on well my string was looking good Right here, Balti spear and nice green fowl. Balti had a nice string as well, could see it. And as I said, we were just taking it easy. So right here I came across three lobsters, two nice size one, one was too small. So what I was doing right here is make sure I don't spear the small one and at the same time try to spear the two big one with one shot because Sometimes when you see a rock of lobsters and you spear one, by the time you reset your gun, they all move up in the rock and you miss out on the chance with them. Sometimes you only get one. So I surface, dive again. Trying to line up the two big ones same time and avoid spearing the small one which I did here I 
And by looking at the lobsters, before I spear them, I can tell when they are on good size. This is a string I was heading in now. You can see it's a beautiful string. Well, my people are out of the water. And so we have a, a slight change here. You can see the water get a little wheely. Chop out by the deep one. I just feel now, our time there. 1228. So by 2 o'clock I go to treat I will cut right and get my flat. Supposed to be that way, you know. Here we go out there to where we come in back. Alt yeah. We a good dive, you know. Water clean. Most places crystal mode that's some places have like a sun. If I do a while ago, when I come in, it start to get a little shake up, you know. Yeah, but go on good, you know. I didn't expect some other fine so much today. <laughs> but it's a funny stream today. Yeah, got this size red belly. Yeah. So then take up the go and the GoPro wide, you know. So the GoPro and show the fish them at, at the right size sometimes, you know. Show them smaller, but look at this. Red belly that you know. Wow. Fat. Nice one to them. Catch a few laps that will cheer them. Mm. Nice grunt off of the station. Jack off of the station. Grunts. You know? Nice fish we get today, you know. Nice sugar. This I chop them where eat good. Great color one, you know. On a size, if it's too big, mm. or too black, wood fish here. Good yeah. catch, man. Good catch, me get to it. Very mm. good, and then you balti, a balti, go on good to it. Very good catch. Nice, I do have a good food corner. This is a green foil. Pretty. So, some kind of hard to get them off of this string, you know. This is this string, yeah. This is the catch. Pretty today, you know, my people. Whole leap, as you say, you know. Good catch on them. These have various sizes. Nice fish. Nice. We'll go on and get them clean up you know, because what? So on hot. I don't want them to get dry out and get a hard scale. Look good man. Good amount of fish. Mm, the bigger boy first. You know. <laughs> This one again too, call it quab. This one. So the size of this one, you have to make sure so you get this one clean as fast as quick as possible. This one easy to spoil as well. This one easier than the rest of them. Quab. This one 
crush you know, but sometimes you can do I smell the gill This one is fresh you know. Easy for spoil No, I know See the old man is out there mm -hmm. Alright, I'm going to go down there, sir Alright, so the thing clean up except for the lobsters no, We're not clean in there, sir The fish they are ready to go Ready to go on a string Oh, they find me in the car there, yes. I have a way boat string, I have a way with the lobsters and I have a way that light on you know? So much fun, really. That's the way. Go where do I have a head through the bush. Alright, so I have a way. Balti string. This is a... 3.16 or 3 pound. Zero about the scale. Take up this string here. Call it three and a half. Half a call this. This is one of three and a half. Just red belly and the chub. So the next string. This way closer to four pound. I believe that. Yeah, I'm on one of the lobster and the jack also. Heavier still. Almost four pound. Three and three quarter. Mm -hmm. Yes, my people. So, you didn't know me now. And um, if I cook up is going to be on this video, definitely you guys is going to see that. Alright? Hopefully me get a chance to cook something out there when I catch it. Lobsters, the jacks. Yeah, something out of that out there. I tell me I have some fish from the previous dive, so I do it now because I dive often. So, one from today dive and two from the previous. This and this dive before me catch these two. This grunt here and this. Remember you call a pearl fish. Eh? But the big grunt I will catch today. So, I'm ready up for the grill. There are some seasoning cut up here. Put them in the pot. Mm. 
Let me see the grill. I'll pop them out of the way. Okay, my people, so swag one here. This is dinner. I'll be grown here, so. Alongside some rice. So, I'm going to enjoy this right now. And going to enjoy this, alright? So, give thanks again. Please check to see if you subscribe. And if you haven't, please do so, alright? And um, share the video with your families and friends. Yes, man. I give thanks. I do see you people in the next one.